So as I'm sure you're aware, we're in the midst of yet another tax season. And I was having a check-in call with my tax team the other day, like I do every week, getting an update on the progress of our tax season, including you know new client acquisitions, as well as how many of our existing clients have rehired us. And I'm happy to say, so far, we have 100% client retention rate for this year, uh, up from 93% last year. So obviously, we're doing something right. Super proud of my tax team. But one of the things, one of the frustrations my tax team was sharing with me, and it's a frustration that we face every single tax season, is a lot of people don't want to pay to have proper tax returns prepared, right? They want to do it cheap or they want to use TurboTax or something like that, thinking that that's going to help them produce an accurate tax return, which just isn't the case. I mean, we, as you know, we specialize in U.S. international taxation and preparing returns for Americans abroad and Americans with foreign income and assets or non-residents with with uh, U.S. filing requirement, that's a very specialized area. We try to not venture outside of that area because we want to do one thing very, very well. But because there's sort of a lot of cut rate firms out there that advertise really cheap tax returns and TurboTax advertising, you, know, you can prepare your own tax return with international tax issues using their software, people are often surprised at what we charge to prepare tax returns because we're definitely not on the cheap side. And the reason we're not at the cheap side is because we're really good at what we do, right? And so that requires, A, uh, what a lot of people don't realize is to prepare U.S. tax returns, you don't need any kind of license. Like, you know, your gardener in Austria could go open up a U.S. tax preparation firm tomorrow completely legal. He's not going to do a very good job, most likely, but it's legal. So one of the things is every, every single one of our tax preparers has some type of uh, a licensed or advanced degree, um, whether that be enrolled agent or CPA or law degree or something like that. Hiring people like that costs more money than hiring people who don't have a lot of experience or education. Secondly, we don't pawn work off on underlings. You know, a lot of firms use sort of the typical business model where you have one partner or one licensed person and they have a whole bunch of uh, underlings underneath them that are really doing all the work and then the partner or or you know tax manager supposedly reviews all of these tax returns that were prepared by his underlings but you know i've reviewed i've interviewed tax managers from other firms and some of them have claimed to have reviewed a thousand tax returns in a year there's no way you can accurately review a thousand tax returns in a tax season, impossible. And so one of the things we do at Esquire Group is our returns are prepared start to finish by a licensed tax consultant. They don't use underlings, there's no pawning off on somebody under you. And we limit the number of clients per tax consultant to 100. So when you call Esquire Group and you talk to your tax consultant, they're gonna know your name, they're gonna know your tax situation and all this stuff without even having to open a file, right? So and they're going to prepare your return year after year. Every single tax situation has these unique issues and nuances that you have to know. And in order to handle those properly, it's best to have the same person prepare that return year after year because they're familiar with these nuances. Otherwise, you have to spend your valuable time educating your new tax preparer every year on all these sort of nuanced things. The other thing that we do is we make sure to not just throw numbers in the tax return, right? Because sometimes there's a better way to treat things from a tax perspective, but this requires carefully reviewing the client's information and speaking with the client to make sure that the type of income they think it is really is, because sometimes there's alternative tax treatments that are gonna be more advantageous and are gonna save the client taxes. So that's when we always take a deep dive into our clients' finances. We make sure we understand what transpired during the year so that that can be put on the tax return in the most advantageous way possible, legally, of course. But doing all of this times takes experienced, educated professionals, and it takes more time. And doing that costs money. You get what you pay for. So, it really annoys me when people are like, well, why should I pay you 
if I could just use TurboTax? Well, TurboTax is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. If you have a very standard tax situation, but anything international is not standard, right? TurboTax is gonna help you put the numbers in the form, but you still need to know where those numbers belong and have to be input in the software that they go into the return properly. And there's a lot of unique situations where the software, even our professional software that we use, is not designed for those type of inputs and you have to manually do it to get it in there properly in accordance with IRS rules and regulations. And so, like I said, a lot of people ask us, oh, well, you know, why can't we just use TurboTax to do it? And when we were talking uh, in our last, you know, weekly call with the, with the tax team, my uh, senior international tax consultant, his name is Cesar Tolico, he reminded me of the Timothy uh, Geithner. He was the, the secretary, the, the uh, secretary of the treasury after Obama, who famously failed to pay uh, some self-employment tax on income when he was working for the IMF. And it came out that he used TurboTax to prepare his tax return. And he screwed it up. So if the Secretary of the Treasury, who's in charge of the IRS, can't properly use TurboTax to prepare an accurate return for himself, how's everyone else supposed to use TurboTax to prepare an accurate tax return for themselves? If the Secretary of the Treasury can't do it, who in the hell can? And so I thought that that was... Uh, a pretty good comment by him, and I thought I would share it in this video post. The point being, whether you hire us or you hire somebody else, at the end of the day, the responsibility for filing a complete and accurate tax return is on you. Now, we may be more than what a lot of people need, so don't hire us, but hire somebody who is competent to prepare the type of tax return that you need prepared. As a matter of fact, there's some tax court cases that say you can't use the reasonable cause defense to get out of penalties for relying on a tax professional if you didn't hire a tax professional who was competent to do the kind of work you needed done. So basically, if you hired a competent international tax professional to deal with an international tax return for you and they screwed it up, you would have an argument that, your pet, that you shouldn't have to pay an accuracy related penalty and that it should be abated for reasonable cause because you relied on a tax professional and that professional was competent for what you hired them to do. But if you go hire somebody who's never prepared international stuff or isn't specialized in it and they screw it up, that's foreseeable, right? Like that's not reasonable cause. That was you hiring somebody that wasn't competent to do what you hired them to do. And the IRS then says, Hey, you can't use that as reasonable cause for reliance on a tax professional. So the point I'm making is in whatever your situation is, if it's international or if it's something else, make sure that the tax professional that you're hiring, is competent for the type of tax advice and tax preparation you need because if they're not and you get audited you're not going to be able to get out of the penalties because the IRS is going to say there's no reasonable cause the person wasn't competent for what you hired them to do it's my public service announcement for today i hope you guys found it informational peace out